Bad news, the B35AM is smoking in the new Hank lights. Recently, users noticed that the new D1V2 was causing the emitter to smoke on turbo, and while I had never noticed it before, I found that my DM11 was indeed smoking as well. If you recently bought one of these, don't panic, there is a simple fix for this issue. Android 2 allows you to deactivate turbo and reduce the maximum power, which is an easy way to limit current and prevent this smoke. When the light is on in advanced mode, press the button 10 times and hold on the last press. Then release after the fourth blink. Do not press anything until the light stops this buzzing. This will deactivate turbo and limit output to the ceiling level. Now, when the light is on, press seven times and hold the last press, then release after the second blink. When the light starts buzzing, press the button 11 times. This will set the ceiling to level 140 out of 150. Do this for both the stepped and smooth ramping modes. And voila, your light will work exactly as it did before, but with the maximum current slightly limited. In my light, this reduces the max output from over 1600 lumens to about 1330 lumens. This is definitely a noticeable drop, but still very bright and not a large loss. This is the highest I recommend you set the ceiling to prevent the smoking. The smoking is due to overdriving the LED, as apparently the B35AM should not be driven past 3 amps. To test this, I increased the thermal limit and spammed turbo on this light, and despite it getting very hot, it still does not cause smoke. So you shouldn't have to worry about heat levels once the current is limited. This issue is pretty unfortunate, but supposedly it does not actually cause lasting damage to the LED, which seems to be the case as far as I can tell. Hank says that the driver used in these lights will be adjusted in order to eliminate the issue, but that does mean output will be reduced. Here's a bonus, if you want more throw from the B35 DM11, here's a simple little hack that can substantially increase the intensity. The optic that ships with the B35AM light is floodier than the standard version and doesn't throw very far. This was used because the tighter optic causes an ugly beam with a hole in the middle when used with this emitter. However, I accidentally discovered a really simple way to fix this and nearly double the throw from this light. This requires the throwy optic from the standard DM11 or the Thrunite Catapult Mini. There are two PCBs with three holes for the optic posts. Notice the upper PCB has slightly larger post holes. This creates a tiny shelf that you can place the optic onto. If you place the optic so that the legs rest on the left of this shelf, it will be raised into the perfect position to create a tighter beam. The bezel can then be screwed back down to secure the optic in place. There will be a small gap where the o-ring is visible, but the light remains secure and is now significantly throwier, with an increased intensity of 24 candela per lumen and a maximum intensity of over 40,000 candela. Well, there you go. Two quick tips to fix and improve your B35AM lights. It's really a shame that this issue occurred in the first place, but at least Android is awesome and lets you adjust things like this. I still think the B35AM is a fantastic LED and is worth considering if you want the highest CRI and most natural beam killer. And now that Hank will be adjusting the driver so that this shouldn't be an issue, you really won't have to worry about this.